This is the motor coupling that I just took off of the Hyper 9. Um, run out on the outer face here was about 30 thousandths. Um, on the inner edge here was about 38 thousandths. And I think that was the um, primary problem. So the coupling is, is bolted up to the motor um, with six 7 16 fine thread bolts. What I had done was I put in five of them um, with uh, hardened studs and I left one um, that I reamed out for a body fit shoulder bolt. I thought that that body fit bolt was going to um, you know, give me perfect center, and I think I shot myself in the foot. Um, I don't know if you can see it, but when I reamed out that hole, I didn't do it straight. So I think that was a large part of my problem, too. So, um, so the new coupling is installed uh, with six bolts, no body fit. And the run out, it's one to two thousand, saying two thousand is about as far out as I can see it going. So I'm hoping that's the uh, the end of my vibration. Also, um, my original tech pickup was uh, magnets um, on these three flanges. I think that may have thrown my balance off a little too, and it also wasn't giving me a good tech reading. So now the, um, I'm picking up my tech from um, metal strips on the outside of the coupling. They're not magnets, they're just ferrous metal. So here we are with the uh, bell housing um, back installed again. And you can see I moved the uh, tech pickup um, over to where the new metal strips are. And um, when I put my old school Simpson 260 meter on this thing and I turn the uh, coupling, you know, it goes from like 1200 to 1100 RPMs as it passes a uh, magnet. So um, I'm hoping that's enough of a signal for the uh, Elling tachometer to see. So um, I'm going to bolt this thing up and get it back in the boat, get the stern drive back on, and uh, we'll be doing another sea trial hopefully within the next week. Thanks for watching.